how is it that you're going to be able to get your emotions and your feelings in check? So we have to deal with what is going on in our mind, okay? And so how we do that is we get to the root of why you think that way. Why do you think you're not good enough? Why do you think you, people don't like you? It could be, yes, some people have treated you badly, but is that everyone that you've encountered that treats you that way, or is it just certain people? And then sometimes we have to dig a little deeper. Is it possible that it's something about that person you just don't like? You know, be honest, be honest with yourself. That is the only way you'll be able to uproot negative thoughts is through honesty. If you can't be honest with yourself, then, you know, really, I mean, who else can really step in and help? So it begins with you being honest. So let's go to the root of why you're thinking that way. And then we start shifting those thoughts. If we're honest with those thoughts, honest why you're thinking that way, and start introducing more realistic truth, you know, and say, let's deal with the truth. The truth is, I've had a lot of disappointments in life and those disappointments have caused me to no longer believe that I can do certain things. But you know what, the truth is, that's the past. And where I'm at now isn't working for me. So I have to do something different. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. You might have had a divorce 10 years ago and honestly, every emotion you felt 10 years ago was true. You were upset, disappointment, you felt abandoned, you felt neglected, unloved, you felt whatever it is. Every emotion you felt was true during that, that, that event, okay? 10 years ago. So now you're here and you're talking about the divorce that happened 10 years ago. And so the truth is, are you still living with what happened 10 years ago? What has happened, what has transpired within 10 years that's different that you refuse to give more attention to? Mm -hmm. You probably bought a house. Mm -hmm. You probably changed jobs several times. Mm -hmm. You probably made new friends. You probably traveled the world, right? You probably lost weight, put on weight. Mm -hmm. You probably changed your hair. There's so many great things that happen in 10 years that you refuse to give attention to. But we want to hold on to that one little, uh, okay, I, it's not fair to call it little, but we want to hold on to that negative event because, and usually when I, I said you're holding on to the negative event because, silence, right? Usually we can't give a reason why we're holding on to hurt. Is there ever a good reason to hold on to hurt? Somebody please tell me. <laughs> Give me one good reason why we should hold on to any hurt. Now, hurt can teach us some things, right? There's lessons we learn from hurt. Like if we put our hands very basic, put your hand on a hot stove, you know not to do that again, okay? So yes, I'm not discounting the value in learning from something that was hurtful, but learning from it, does that mean that you must carry it in your back pocket wherever you go? You see what I'm saying? And so that's how we start changing the way we think by really understanding what it is that you're putting value to. Do you value more the things that hurt you versus the things that have brought you joy and happiness? And I use the, the divorce because, you know, I think that that's probably, you know, something. We could choose a lot of different other examples. But in that 10 years, my gosh, I know there's some great things that happened in your life. And tell me why you can't think of at least five things that you want to at least well, you know, relish on and share and use it as a point of keeping yourself motivated and encouraged versus than talking about that loser. <laughs> we can call him or her a loser because, you know, they, they, they left. Oh, we left them. And it was for good reason, right? So... That's my point. You lost a house, but guess what? You're not homeless, right? You got fired from a job, but you're still able to eat. Thank God, right? 
So there's always good things that's happening in life that we can hold on to and allow that to be the precipice of why you must move forward and seek your joy. Okay? So let's see. Is this helping anybody?